Hello everybody and welcome to episode 17 of the Disgaea 5, no not Disgaea 5, Disgaea PC LP, the regular the hollow motor and whatnot. So uh, in the off time I went through the promotional exam a couple times I think, um, with plein air and the Harl. And let's get to here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, money, how do I love thee? <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> I'm not sure if they got a different voice actor. With you to fund my military campaign, I shall become the next overlord. <laughs> Long time no see, Hog Miser. Who's there? <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Who are you? Laharl, the heir to the throne, King Krichevskoy's son! Oh, yeah. Ever since the king died, I knew I was forgetting something. Ah, so it was you, Prince. You call yourself a vassal? You know how demons are. You always say not to be so picky about the details. I'm not a detail! Oh, don't be so self-centered. I'm glad you helped refresh my memory. It was nagging me, like a fishbone stuck in my throat. F fishbone You! Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Now that my old man's dead, I'm the Netherworld's next overlord. I'm taking back everything that's mine, and the rest of your fortune, too. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in another world. If you want what is now mine, you'll have to take it by force. That's exactly what I had in mind. Enough talk! Let's go! Fighting over money and power. Are the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then... Okay. So, uh, we're fighting Hogmiser again, as I'm guessing you all could uh, expect. But there are less geo blocks and whatnot now. Um, okay, so I'm going to put her right here. And then side her up. That's okay. I figured that's how it would go down. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll just move up and start going full aggro. Yep, yeah, there it is. And turn, see how it goes. Ooh, okay. I'm not surprised that that's all uh, you did. That. Mm. I guess I'll have him come over. Slash. Uh, she won't be able to take another one of those. So. Got a flan out. Heal her. Uh, Oops, hurt me. Uh, and then turn. Okay. And Hogmiser is dead. Let's just honestly I'll probably be a little bit tired. Uh, try burst. So we have to go love. Turn. Oops, yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted uh, him to attack so I could counter just because it's a lot more time efficient that way if I get another attack essentially. <laughs> you lose. I'm taking everything as promised. You, you can't. I won't be able to survive without my money. Well then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel. Not only is he taking his money, but his life too. I can't let this happen. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands. Wait, you bully! Who are you? Hogmiser's son? Let go! I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid. Hey, kid! 
Why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? You want to die? Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love. Here we go again. Love, love, love. Is that all you've got in your puny little head? You damn love freak. You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharo, my son. Hmm? What do you think of me? Do you love me? No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon, which is fine for now, but one day... <clears throat> now she's got me thinking about my old man. My old man, huh? What was he trying to tell me that time? <clears throat> this is stupid. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. Forget it! I've wasted enough of my time! Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. Alright, start taking the good stuff! But make sure you leave some behind for them. Laharl... Hmm. Hogmeister was deeply moved by the Haro's kind gesture. He you joined your party without your consent. You also received 5,000. Master help. Lamington, I finally understand those words you spoke to me. Master Lamington? What is it, Flan? The angels told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> Listen carefully, Flan. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels, and in fact most demons, just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day... Mr. Lamington, I will accompany Laharo for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn. And those aren't his only shortcomings. But I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. It may be small right now, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So, Master Lamington, please forgive my digression. Okay, and you can see that Laharo isn't a complete asshole and uh, I'll talk about some more stuff in a minute. Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef Howe. A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation. Sounds cheesy to me, dude. This week's dish, Cajun-style gumbo. And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad. Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears! Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna Episode 4! Etna 120%! With a pitch of murderous intent! You're hopeless, dude! God, I really don't like the old pretty voice. Our little Flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demons. <laughs> she probably used her feminine charm. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Hmm. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? No. That's it! That has to be it! There's no other explanation! Do you think she's smart enough to do that? Ugh. I won't allow it! My plan shall not be interfered with! Still, this demon den is so filthy, it reeks of evil. Hmm? What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> what kind of book is this? My god! This page! This page! All these pages! Ha, 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 ha. Huh? I mustn't. 
I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. So I'm pretty sure it's... Flan, where are you? I'm pretty sure it's implied that he found like a porn mag or something. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. <laughs> Flan, I'm taking your pendant. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. <laughs> Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. A pendant? Yes. It was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No. If it were you, you would steal it impartially, right? Hmm. S so you do get it. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to... help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? No. But... What's wrong, Flan? You look tired. Y yes The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the Netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince, even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Uh, uh, of course! L-Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? L-Laharl, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something good, you say? Hmm, if I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Give it up already! I'm a demon! It doesn't matter who you are, even if you are old, maimed, or diseased! Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me! Are you trying to provoke me? Hm, fine. I've got some time to kill. Laharl? But... Let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake, and when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. You're an angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want, when I want. Remember that. Huh. Okay. So, what I was gonna say was, uh, uh about the Hogmiser thing and how Laharl spares him. Uh, if you have enough ally kills, you can uh, get prompted to kill him, <laughs> and it changes your ending. Blazing core, could have done this. Maybe just the pen is fine. I'm making it fast. Okay, yeah, blazing core. And um, I was thinking of one other thing, but I can't remember. So hot here was this place. Too much for me. Hot here. Wait, look at this feather. Let me see. So special about it. It's an angel feather. It's not yours, is it? No, it's size and your it radiates the able superior to mine. But it belongs to a high level angel. No wonder one of those place makes some goodness. <laughs> Came out of another world under the set of secret orders. Why would another angel be here? The prince, you think angels stole the flaws pendant? I'm surprised that love freak like you would have enemies. This is not possible. Angel would never steal my pendant. The only angels know about the pendant, right? Well. I ah, forget, we still have to find it regardless. I don't care what kind of trouble those Celestians stir up for themselves. Okay. So, yes. Okay, we're. This seems like a. <laughs> like what would be a grinding stage if I needed to do such a trivial thing any longer. Um. Do that. Leveling up as planned. These guys are gonna move. 
I want the best ending, <laughs> but I love doing this and just just reeking of overpower. Uh, okay, zero friendly kills. I'm just checking up uh, constantly just to make sure that I don't uh, accidentally do it. Because <laughs> if I do, then I'll have to revert to a previous save. Uh, Arch ground. Okay. Uh, I want to go home. Why is it so hot? Now I'm all sweaty. Prince, in this heat, Flan's gonna shrivel up before we find the pendant. Huh? I'm fine. How come? Ooh, I'm gonna kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom. Mm, no. The medicine that a printy gave me seems to be helping. Huh? One of them gave you medicine? <laughs> Printies aren't that nice. You must be hallucinating. No, it's true. I feel much better now. Okay, which one of them was it then? Um... <laughs> they all look the same. But it's true! Yeah, yeah. The heat must be getting to you after all. I'm telling the truth! Okay. And I did unlock the, uh, I think I unlocked glasses and shoes uh, for, uh, whatchamacallums, for the store. And I equipped uh, plum air. Yeah, glasses. Okay. Yeah, just rinsing through these guys. Oh, that's perfect. As long as they don't kill her. Okay, good. And I'm just gonna bust him up. heal her, because unfortunately, since she doesn't have all the pendants like Haro does, she still takes a, quite a bit of damage, whereas like, he takes barely double-digit amounts. Okay. And that guy's gonna come up, and I'll probably counter him at some point. Um, just gonna do that, but I don't want to. Finally, get to a point where uh, I can't seem to be. Uh, I don't seem to be one hitting everyone <laughs> quite so much. Of course, I used. Uh, I didn't use a very powerful attack. Okay, those guys are doing a bit of damage, and he's oddly enough not countering. So I'm gonna move here, use hurricane slash, decrease the amount of uh, possible damage. Try burst. Good. Taking people out slowly and steadily. Jack power slice. I'm surprised he's just not countering them. Eh, no. Not really matters. These two are good enough. that pays for their healing, and they're, uh, they're not costing all that much to heal, which is even better. Okay. Blazing Core, Blazing Field. And another cutscene. Hey, future reference, what kind of guys the Seraph? Future reference? Yeah, I may have a fight in one day, I'm looking for your pen, at least you just tell me. I guess it's okay. 
No, it's not. <laughs> well, Master Lamington the Seraph is a very kind person, loves flowers and poems. No, wait a second. I only want to hear about his weak points. So you look up to the Seraph. Yes, of course, it's something you look up to. The late King. You look up to me? <laughs> nope. Why you? You call yourself a vassal. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Someone should teach you some manners. After this, let's find that pendant. Okay. And another thing that I did uh, just remember that I wanted to cover was, uh, so I'm not sure if you guys remember the voice of most of the, uh, most of the demon children, but I'm pretty sure that they're all voiced by the voice actor from the Harl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Laharl is a female voice actor. And they all... It seemed like they all had the same voice, which I thought was funny. Um, okay. So, now... That's damaged. It's 20. Okay. Yeah, so this is designed to be a way that you can kill all of them just by putting this on the block. Laying them kind of just die. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that because honestly, it might just be faster to uh, do it this way. I'm gonna send Flan out with them to heal them. Uh, I'm also gonna go and throw plenty of So, let's attacks earlier. Oh great, and she's poison. Awesome. You can always rely on you for poison. Fucking skull guy. No wonder you win the next games. Because you suck. You suck. You suck donkey ass. Okay. And then we'll kill this geo symbol. Um, it shouldn't uh, red so it didn't set off a chain. Even if it did, I don't think it would have been enough. Okay. So now, anything up. Nope. Heal. very strong because it is single uh, character. And the swords are just naturally one of the better weapons of all the choices. Uh, so I think in this episode I'll be able to get through the rest of this chapter. And so that'll be two finished chapters in one episode, which is nice. <laughs> God, he looks like a derp in that spray. Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. What? The pendants shining. <laughs> hot, hot, too hot! I have no use for this anymore! Ow! Oh, that hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous! Hmm? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant. It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior. I thank you, O oh God. Moron. What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called moi a moron? Me! Oh, what a lucky day indeed! To be able to confront my rival once again! Wait a second. Since when did I become your rival? Hey, it's Midboss. You 
you're still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Midboss, may I have the pendant? It's mine! Oh. With all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it! I beg of you! I... I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart. If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes he should be That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Enough! I told you, you're mid-boss! <laughs> Say what you wish, but do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid-boss. Hey! You just admitted that you're a mid-boss! Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name mid-boss again! Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! Okay, so this is the stage where if you lose to uh, uh, him, uh, it just restarts your game, uh, and that's how I got Planair. Because uh, it's like, oh, you're super ashamed that you lost to someone like him. I just always found that very funny. Um, okay, I'm actually going to lift and throw Haro over there, so I'd rather he try and take her out of him. Uh, Planair. That. Okay, good. Now they're all gonna... Oh. Surprise, surprise. My goodness. Oh, I'm surprised it's not killing. That is surprising and annoying, both at the same time. Let's take out him with the back shot. And come over here, hurricane slash. Sure, he kills him. And then I'm gonna heal them both up. Okay, so this shouldn't take very long. Uh, honestly, most of this uh, episode has just been me uh, just rinsing through all the maps of this one chapter, uh, which is nice because it's good to make progress in episodes. Uh, unlike certain episodes where it's like, oh, I only need one map because it was a very large map. Uh, Oh god, that's a bit more than I was expecting. Okay, that is fine. Harl, your duty is to take him out. And it's your duty to do that. I'm gonna pop you right here, pop the love again. Okay, so it'll take a little bit to kill the Dark Adonis. One or two. One Hurricane Slash. Usagi Blast. Um, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. Uh, her name's really target height problem. Uh, I do uh, remember that this game uh, this guy was probably one of my favorite ones just because of uh, uh, the cutscenes, in that I had never played a game where the uh, sprites had moved and whatnot. Like, they'd never done something as cool as showing facial stuff uh, with sprites, and I was always amazed by it. Cool. Um, ooh, now you're high level. I don't like that. I want my main character to be the highest level. Unfortunately, I did not level him. I'm 
Tomahawk. Whatever. <laughs> I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle, but let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. Make such a pitiful face. Hmm, isn't this what you're looking for? Laharo! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from you. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Thank you, Laharo. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Uh, do I have to spell it out? The reward! Give me the something good you promised me. Oh, that. I already gave it to you. What? Put your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? The warmth inside your heart? You faced great danger to find this pendant. You pretend to be only evil, but there is definitely kindness in your heart. To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness, that is my reward for you. Uh -huh. uh, uh, are you insane? How can you say something so crazy? Kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! Damn it! I'll remember this! Away. Deceiving the prince, huh? Not bad at all. Really? You look happy. Yes, I am. I now know that there is love within Laharl's heart. And if there is love inside him, that means there is love in all demons. One day, angels and demons could be friends. I couldn't be happier. Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. But you're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Hmm. Are you like that, Etna? Maybe. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Damn that flan! She managed to survive. Hmm. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Oh, consider yourself lucky this time. But I, Vulcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end! Got that? Don't forget it. Even if I don't make an appearance for a while. Promise me! I like how he's, like, I can't tell if he's talking to the audience or he's talking to just the world. <laughs> Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Peaches! In their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians. Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the Dark Durian Nine. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, a mysterious pinch hitter appears, awakening the Peaches' true baseball spirit. At the soul burns brightly! You shouldn't play with fire. Next, on Mighty Slugger at 
Ratna, Episode 5, The Miracle Full Face Hat Trick Kickoff into Tomorrow! Huh? Is this not baseball? Okay, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. So, uh, I hope you all have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next episode. We'll